wait a minute, what the heck is under there? She immediately left him after seeing this? He's a normal military man? What the heck happened? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. What if you made this much money every single day? Todd's wife, Sally, stayed home and looked after the kids. They have been in love since high school. He never imagined her having an affair while he was away in the military, and that's not what he found. Actually, it was a lot more disturbing than that. He found all this in his old garage, and it was about to change his life forever? I gotta get to the next page. Yeah, I get it. A lot of people watching this are thinking $51,000 in a day. Are you kidding? Is this even doable? Well, what I want to do is I want to talk to you about something really, really, really important once we scroll past all these ads. And that is how much Mark Zuckerberg made in 2021. It's reported by Forbes that he made about $24 billion. That's about $2 billion a month, $65 million a day, or more specifically, $45,000 a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can't even count that fast. And he probably pays like that much in taxes. But the bigger question is, why does he make all this money? And in order to answer that, we have to turn to the Facebook Marketplace. If we go to the Facebook Marketplace, we can scroll here and see all kinds of things that people have for sale. But you're also going to see weird stuff like, what the heck is that? Oh, it's an ad. What? Another ad. More ads. Ad. Ad. Ads. They just keep going. There's ads everywhere, and some of them are really weird. I'm sorry, Facebook. I don't know what you got going on here. But the question is, why would someone run an ad like this on Facebook Marketplace? Because it makes money, of course. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is what's known as advertising arbitrage. You're buying traffic really cheap on Facebook, Google, or wherever you're buying it, and you're selling it high. And it works a lot like this. You have an ad that says, hey, check out the best preview Subarus or whatever car it is, and they have a weird picture. Sometimes like this, or this, or maybe even this one here. What the heck is that? They get you to click on the ad, and they take you to some search results or a weird story or something like that. Of course, with the idea to get you to click on, yep, you guessed it, more ads. Or it might even look like this one, where they're advertising lingerie. Then they take you to a search engine for the specific lingerie. So let me get this straight. You're basically advertising ads. And this is a huge business. We can see here, Outbrain, one of the biggest ad arbitragers, pulled in $250 million last year alone. Taboola, one of the bigger competitors, over $1.2 billion in annual revenues. That's a lot of money. And looking at numbers like this, $50,000 a day is chump change because this is a huge industry. So let me give you a quick overview of how this works. This is the Facebook marketplace, obviously. You also have ads like this on Google. You got them on MSN, Yahoo, all kinds of places, Bing, everything like that. Now, these ads are literally pennies on the dollar. So you have an ad here. Now, I want you to focus because these people on Facebook marketplace could be looking for anything from nails to ladders to batteries, whatever. The idea is, can I get them to click something that's more expensive than what I pay for it? So if I can get an ad on the Facebook marketplace and I could say, hey, I'm going to pay two to three cents for each and every click that comes to my website. Then I take them to a website like this with little images they can click that takes them to a paid search engine. Very important. Now, these ads are actually showing ads that are more expensive. So here on Facebook, we got two to three cent clicks. But once we change them by getting them to click on check out this new car, now we could see used cars near me is actually going for $2.52 per click. Wait, what, Marcus, did you just take something from three cents to $2.52? 
Well, yes, but I have to disclaimer this. The results are not typical, implied, or guaranteed. The average person trying to make money online makes nothing, and we don't even know if the 252 is what you're going to get. But hey, if you could take them from two to three cents and turn them into five or six cents, you just doubled your money. And if you could do that a couple thousand times a day, you can do pretty good. I do this all the time. And this is the essence of what we call flip the market. We are going to take the market from something inexpensive, like an ad on Facebook or some kind of content ad or whatever it is that's dirt cheap and put them to something that's expensive. This is why you see ads all the time for like, check out these crazy things this person did. And then it's like some story that lures you in. And at the end, it's like, click these ads for insurance. And you're like, okay, what are we doing here? Well, we're making lots of money. That's what we're doing. And just look at this. Here's one, 1.3 million visitors a month, almost a million visitors a month, 11 million visitors a month, pretty much 12 there, right? We got 14 million visitors a month, 162,000 visitors a month, half a billion visitors a month, and another half a billion visitors a month. Are you starting to get the idea here? And here's another one, one of the ones I showed you earlier that just takes people to search engines, that's getting 1.3 million visitors a month. Now it's important to understand that we wanna do this in an ethical way, and in just a minute, I'm gonna to talk to you about the various different types of arbitrage. There's several different types we're gonna go over. All of them are very profitable. Some of them you might not wanna do, some of them, you can do, it's up to you. Very good, very easy. Now, when I did this, I did it with a mortgage website, I've done it with uh, various downloadable tool websites, I've done it with all kinds of stuff, making upwards of $5,000 a day or more. And this is very simple to do, but again, remember, the average person trying to make money online doesn't make anything, and with this type of stuff, there's a chance you could lose money. In fact, a friend of mine used to do about $80,000 a day, but he spent 60 to get it. Yeah, that means he was risking $60,000 a day. That's a little bit rich for me, but let's continue on. So there's three main types of arbitrage. There is direct arbitrage. This is where you go through and you have an ad on Facebook Marketplace or wherever it is, and you are taking them directly to a page with search engine results. These are paid ads. So you would take them directly from, hey, check out these weird cars to boom, here's the ads for cars. Very simple. Now, the downside to this is you have no control over the content and sometimes the ads will be diminished in value because you're, you're kind of bait and switching like, hey, check out these weird cars and then there's no weird cars, they're just gonna sign up for regular cars. And that kind of diminishes the value of the ad, which means advertisers are usually gonna pay less, which means you make less. Now, there's another one, which is called info arbitrage, which is where you would go through and you'd say something like, uh, here are the top celebrities that pay the littlest in taxes. All right, now that's a little bit interesting if they're interested in that topic. Chances are they'll probably look at like tax ads and stuff like that. And the ads will be within the content. So if you have content, it's gonna be something like where they have the content and then they have the ads within the content. And again, these ads are automatic. You get paid when they are clicked on. Now, you can also go through and you can have like a hybrid model where you're doing info. And again, you wanna use the idea of why they're gonna click on that interesting article in the first place to kind of get them into your way of thinking. For me, when I did this, I went through and I had the info site, which was about mortgage calculators. And on the mortgage calculator website, I thought to myself, the only people who wanna calculate a mortgage are people that are buying a house or getting a mortgage. So I thought, okay, I could run these calculators. I'll have the calculators as content, and then I will have the ads which will get them in for refinance. So I was able to buy them cheap for the word mortgage calculator, 10, 30 cents a click, and then I was getting a dollar or more using the word refinance. Very simple, right? Now, what we wanna do is we wanna do this in an ethical way. We don't wanna do clickbait. We don't wanna do anything shady. Lots of search engines, including Google, are pretty strict on these policies. So you wanna make sure that you're doing something good. And there's so much information out there that you can create something interesting that people will wanna read that will get a lot of traffic. I mean, it's not that hard to do. There's plenty of weird news stories all the time and we can tie them to things that make money. Like, hey, you won't believe uh, how much Bitcoin crashed. You write an article and boom, now you got Bitcoin ads or whatever. Um, very simple, very easy. Another one you wanna do is what I call interactive 
information arbitrage. This is where you're taking the information and you're getting them to interact with your page, whether by you know clicking on something, maybe your top mortgage rates or what's your credit score like or whatever it is or how much weight do you want to lose. You're actually getting them to interact on your page, which is going to duplicate the number of clicks because here's how this works, right? When you're using this method up here, which is the direct method, they're going to go and then what's going to happen here is you'll get maybe a thousand people to click on the site and then out of those thousand you'll probably have 100 or less click on the ads right because they're not really interested in it they were interested in it, that weird pyramid car right not really the ads so you're going to get a lot less people which means 900 people were wasted and those are 900 people you paid to have click on your site. So you're just kind of wasting it. Now in this method where we're doing information, we are making ads that are targeted, right? Like, hey, check out the top lemon cars or whatever it is, all right? Now the next one here, interactive information arbitrage, we are actually gonna go in and get people to interact and click deeper on the site, like with my mortgage website, where I would get people in and each person would click about 10 different times, right? They'd use all the different calculators, they'd look at the different info, and every time that happened, instead of getting 100 people to click on ads, what would happen is I'd get 1,000 people from the initial Facebook or Google ad. I would get them to the site, that would result in 10,000 ad impressions. Now, because I knew what I was doing, I was getting about a 30% CTR rate, or click on ads, so 30% of the 10,000 impressions would click on the ads, which would give me a huge amount of money, which basically meant the equivalent of everyone was clicking on an ad on my site, which was really simple. All right. And we have to look at this and we have to understand how it works. And I want to show you some other examples because this gets really good, right? Some examples here of interactive information arbitrage was this ad that I found on the Facebook marketplace. It was out there for like different cars and things like that. And it said drivers needed immediately enjoy home time, safe driving career. So they got you from looking at cars and flipped you into delivery driver jobs, which is super expensive, right? We go over here to spy foo and we do something like a uh, CDL license or trucking jobs. Right, what we're gonna see here is for trucking jobs, now we're at $5.13 a click. On top of that, what this guy was doing is he actually had like a little FedEx delivery driver job with the amount paid and a button that said view jobs. Now, take a look at this because if you were to go to Offer Vault or an affiliate offer search engine, you would see that Get Around pays $26 for a lead. That's right, not a sale and not someone buying stuff a lead. They fill out a form saying, I want to drive and make money. Boom. Think about that when you think of an ad like this. This is going to get people in there like that, and you're going to get tons of conversions. Another one was DoorDash Driver. That one pays $35 a lead. So all we have to do is say, hey, do you want to try DoorDash, this, UPS, whatever, and we're going to find those offers on Offer Vault. We're also going to have some kind of paid ads from whatever uh, network we're using, Taboola or whatever it is. All right, and we're gonna go through and we're gonna make this work in a very, very simple way. And we could go to Offer Vault here and we could do uh, something like jobs and we could see all the different types of jobs, DoorDash, get around, car sharing, uh, some kind of professional thing. You could even do like delivery, start a career today. This kind of stuff is absolutely perfect. And if you're using something like this, you're only gonna get the good people that you want that are interested in the type of offer. So my favorite way to do this is through information, interactive information arbitrage. I got some videos in the description that are gonna talk more about this. And always you can go to my uh, site, downloadmynotes.com. We got lots of references and things that you can look at. Lots of ad examples like the car one. And this stuff is crazy big. There are people that are doing this that are making more money than you'd ever believe. This is why Facebook and lots of search engines are rich because advertisers are raking it in big time. So make sure you check the links in the description. Those are going to show you videos that are going to talk to you more about arbitrage and subscribe, click the bell, smash a like button, and I'll see you in the next training.